What is generative growth and what are the key challenges with it? Well, generative growth is kind of the opposite of vegetative growth. What I mean by that is we're gonna utilize lower water contents, higher substrate EC, larger drybacks, a higher VPD in your climate, which typically just correlates to the RH that you're playing with. Now, how do we utilize these tools? Well, in the bedroom, if you have a plant that's stretchy with longer internodal spacing, you might wanna steer it more generatively. And then in flower, we could use generative cues to set the flower in and build a better quality flower. What I mean by that is if you have a plant that shoots out those foxtails or is really airy with lower THC readings, that tends to mean that you steered it too vegetatively. Now, if you wanna build that quality, you have to balance between vegetative and generative growth at each phase. Now, what are the challenges with this? Always knowing what's going on. So what we've done in Arroyo is we've incorporated our Terrace 12 and Atmosphere 14 to give us a graphical representation and a timeline on how we use these cues. This is important because every single genetic requires a different steering capability. And once we have insight to what those steering cues are, we could build a profile and dictate this back to our users and give you an easy to look back at history and improve the crop growth.